ever since I started filming these videos for Hardware Sugar, I had one consistent comment. It's about no, not that. It it's no, 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 no. The consistent comment is about my mouse pad. I'm Rafael from Hardware Sugar, the only PC shop in the Philippines with no BS warranty, and this is how you should clean your mouse pad. Ang video na to ay handog ni CDKoffers.com. Marami kang mahanap na iba't ibang uri ng software dito. May games, apps, activation codes for Windows 10. Check out our video on CDK Offers in the video description. Mabilis, mura, and syempre legit dito. Madali lang mag-order, search for the software you need, add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit working CDK ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. And, uh, you know, I, I want to save money and avoid buying something as basic as a new mouse pad. This one has lasted me for like five years. I know it looks, it looks pretty disgusting, but really, it, it, uh, it has held up really well over the years. I highly recommend it. Seeing is believing. If you drag a fingernail across different parts of the mouse pad, you'll be able to see right away if there is a heavy layer of dust and grime. <sighs> I honestly can't think of any possible reason as to why and how such a thick layer was able to develop in the first place. It boggles the mind. But eh, there it is. Interesting enough though, it seems to be centralized in this part of the mouse pad, which is believable since this is where my mouse traverses. I rarely move my mouse away from this side of the pad. This stain was relatively recent. I have no idea how this stain got here, actually, to be honest. Hmm. All right, tools. I'm essentially just going to use laundry detergent and water. This is not sponsored by Tide. However, Tide smells good. I haven't researched online and this is the safest way to go about it. However, I just woke up one day and thought to myself, you know what will be fun? Skipping breakfast and run out into the scorching morning sun in order to wash my mouse pad for the first time in how many years? Since I didn't research prior to this experiment, you may want to wait till the end to see if it actually worked. One fourth cup of detergent. This is, I think, excessive. But, you know, whatever, it's pretty damn dirty. Like, this is five years old after all, right? And this is just regular tap water, which I place in some kind of fancy bottle. But uh, what we're gonna do here is we're going to dissolve the detergent first before placing in the mouse pad. Yeah, check out that chemical reaction. The solution, nice and powdery and intensive. There goes nothing, get in there. Get in there. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's really coming apart here, look at that. It's turning into chocolate milk in here. Yeah, mm. get, get in there. I don't want to scrub it too hard because if I scrub it, then I might ruin the black uh, paint color dye of the mouse pad. But yeah, oof, check that out. Mmm, scrub. Okay, we need more water, I think. Oh, yeah, this is coming good, not too bad. Mm. After 15 minutes of light scrubbing with my palms and dunking, it was time to ditch the detergent water. I probably shouldn't have done this over the grass, but I am happy to report that 3 days later, the grass is still doing well. Now, we need to further wash it down with just plain tap water in order to get rid of all this detergent which is currently still clinging to the mouse pad. Overall, it's looking like mission accomplished. Also, it feels as firm and as smooth as it was before I started washing it. However, you know how when you wash off a stain on a shirt and you think it's gone, but when it dries, you notice it's still there? The best way to see if our work really paid off is to do the same experiment after it's been fully dried up. Originally, I placed it in the sun and then realized that while the scorching sun would dry this up pretty quickly, it would also probably discolor the dye. And thereafter, I just decided to hang it out on a hook underneath the shade. I'm happy to report that it dried up of around 2 hours later. Oui. Oh boy. 
Okay, looks like I need some more thorough washing. Okay. All right, all right. We'll have to do another take at this. Here we are at take two. I put one sixth a cup of detergent this time, or a lot less than originally, primarily because the lack of detergent wasn't the problem on the first go. The problem was that my hands weren't enough to exfoliate the dirt layer of the pad. So I switched to a sponge marked heavy duty because it has a rough side which I think will do the trick. The thing is, I wanted to avoid doing this from the beginning because I don't know how much punishment a mouse pad can take from something that is meant to scrub metal pots and pans. I did my best to focus the punishment only at the central part I knew needed the extra effort. That way, I could at least minimize the damage if any damage occurred. After 10 minutes, I rinsed everything off and hung it out to dry a second time. Success. Not only does the mouse pad smell like a synthetic rose garden, which let me tell you smells pretty darn good, I was hardly leaving any marks now. These marks are no longer the white dusty layer I saw before we started cleaning this. Instead, these marks are, I believe, just the reaction of my finger gliding across the individual threads of a now clean mouse pad. After a few days of use, my mouse glides across this surface just as good as it did before. The two negative things I have to report, however, are 1. The Steel Series logo got rubbed off because of the sponge, and 2. The area which I scrubbed around it feels ever so slightly less smooth as the rest of the pad, something which I sort of knew might happen. However, it really is hardly noticeable, especially since the pad is black. But keep in mind that if you ever do this, go easy on that scrubbing and beware that mouse pads are made differently from each other. And the slightly rubbed off logo is, in my opinion, an upgrade in look. Like how it's cooler to have a gun skin which looks all scratched up rather than brand new. In retrospect, if you don't have as thick a layer of dirt as mine, then you may want to hand wash your mouse pad every year or so without the sponge scrubbing. I'm pretty sure that this chocolate milk coming out wasn't just black dye, but all sorts of unhealthy toxins which you touch every day. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to Hardware Sugar, where we do videos other than laundry. Wherever you are in the world, stay safe. We want to give an extremely special shout out to our top fans who helped pay for this new teleprompter. Liam Magnae, Ian Meru, Richard Onkinko, ITX Addict, John Ruben Occia, and Christian Aspinosa. Thanks a lot, guys. This is going to make producing content a lot faster. Stay safe, everyone.